Hi, I'm Brooke again from All Things Thrifty, and now that you know how to mix your glaze, I'm going to show you how to apply it and how to wipe it off so that it gives your furniture an antique look that we're going for. So you just get a brush. You can use either a, a sponge brush or a bristle brush. Sometimes I use a bristle brush just depending on if I want to get in all the nooks and crannies, but really both works just fine. And you paint it on whatever you are glazing, and you put quite a bit on and for some reason this is is uh, one of the most popular questions that I get about glazing people are just they are nervous about glazing some furniture so I thought that I would just show you so that you could see it for yourself so you paint it on you can see that I just start at one side of whatever you're glazing and you brush it on and you take a washcloth, and get it wet, and make sure that you get off as much of the water out of it as possible, and then you wipe it off. And as you can see, the glaze stays in to the the parts of the furniture, like in the very, very corners, and if there's any knots or, or anything like that, then the glaze will stay in there and you just wipe it off. And then you just repeat. That is it. I think that some people are a little too nervous just because they're just nervous, but there is no need to be nervous about this because there's <laughs> there's no way that you can screw it up. That's the thing. You really, really can't screw this up. And so just make sure that you get as much glaze into all of the corners and into especially especially into that wood and then you just keep doing it over and over and over until until you have the look that you're you're going for. So See how that black line stays in that cranny back there? That little... That's exactly what you're going for. And then, I'm going to show you how to do the edges, the very, very edges, in just a minute. 